You, welcome to 20 Minutes or Less. My name is Elliot Morgan. Hey. And that's Joe Beretta. A 73-year-old man by the name of Omar Amin was shopping in Barnes & Noble for his grandsons when a customer complained about him being in the children's section. A Barnes & Noble worker then approached Amin and told him that he had been complained about. The worker allegedly told the professor, men alone cannot be by themselves in the children's area. <sighs> Oh, you mad, Joe? The worker Todd Voris explained that the other stores had had problems with creepy ass pedophiles. When Voris was contacted for comment, he told the Arizona Republic something like, um, uh, you're gonna have to talk to our district manager. And this is when it gets really wonderful. Mary Ellen Keating, a spokeswoman for the mega bookstore, stated, We have no comment on the matter you called about. We believe we acted appropriately. Hang on. Uh, that sounded an awful lot like a comment. That was definitely a comment. So you believe you acted appropriately by kicking somebody's granddad out of your bookstore. That was your comment. You commented on it. And that granddad does not believe he was treated appropriately and instead thinks he's been discriminated against based on his gender. Uh, yeah, he was. If you get kicked out of somewhere because you're a guy, then guess what? You just got discriminated against. Unless it is a woman's locker room and or bathroom. Yeah, that's, that actually is true. And while the good intention is there of actually protecting our children and constantly being on the lookout for predators, you cannot discriminate against an entire gender. I mean, stated, they're trying to push it under the rug and they aren't taking responsibility for what happened. What sucks about this case is that it's one-sided. The customer who complained may or may not have reported suspicious behavior. According to Amin, he was just talking on his cell phone. He said he walked into the store to buy some gifts for his grandkids when he got a call from a female friend of his. So he sat down on the ground in the children's section to talk on the phone while there was no one around. No one, that is, until the employee came up to him and then, quote, escorted me out as a potential sex offender. And if you're wanting to know more about this Omar Amid guy or Dr. Omar Omar Amid, I should say. He has a doctorate in zoology and parasitology. Oh, really, Barnes & Noble? You want to go after zoologists? I have a degree in zoology. I'm male. I can read. I like books. You're going to kick me out too, you hyper-politically correct spineless corporation feeding into the social stigma that men are uncontrollable beasts continuously stalking their prey? Huh? Yeah, it's a long nickname, but I hope it sticks because you're a bunch of jerks. So even though we don't like the decision that Barnes & Noble has made in this instance, we do understand the need and desire to protect our children. Oh, man, Joe, you know what this means? I think I do know what it means, Ellie. I think it's time for a double rant. First, First of all, you were kicked out elderly gentleman out of a bookstore because, because, because he was alone in the children's section. Hey, well, shame, shame on you. them. They Aren't clearly you assume that there have never been female sex offenders. Aren't you aware that the church elderly isn't a universally masculine trait for as dirty old men because that's what our society believes? believes. And most of all, are you, are you not, not aware, aware that the motivation behind doing more detriment to society than you could possibly imagine? Children are not protection. But all that said, if someone were to kick me out of a store because I'm a dude, I would lose my ever-loving mind. I would go ballistic on you. Oh, and by the way, I'm only shopping on Amazon now. So enjoy your impending bankruptcy. Douchebags. So what do you think about this? Obviously the intention is good and we need to protect our children and we need to keep predators as far away from them as humanly possible. But where do you draw the line in doing that? Let us know your thoughts on the matter in the comment section down below. And then after you're done doing that, do us a favor and hit the like and subscribe button. And while you're down there, there's also a link in the description box if you'd like to head on over to Four Human Peoples and maybe check out a poster or two. It's completely up to you. And there's this here annotation if you want to go to sourcefed.com, five daily stories. I'm just saying, it's a lot of fun. I'm Ellie Morgan. I'm Joe Beretta. See you tomorrow. <laughs>